Medical technician, Shadow HQ. I'll be on duty in an hour. Blast off 15 minutes precisely. All personnel for leave report to control sphere immediately. Will Paul Roper report to control sphere immediately? Countdown is proceeding. The answer is no. I won't do it. You're being stupid. It's no good. I can't go through with it. Do what you want to. Temper, temper. For God's sake, look, I said I won't tell you anything. There's always Carol. My wife? Yes. Leave her out of it, will you? Paul? Paul, is 
upset you. It's all right. I'm here. Look, look. Take one of these. Yes. Shouldn't we phone someone, the, the police or something? The police? Yes. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll phone them right away. All right, darling? Oh. You've convinced me. I can't talk now. I'll call again. No. When? Tomorrow night, 12 o'clock. My car. I'll give you all you want then. But if you come near my wife again... How do you feel? Oh, fine. Ooh, that pill suddenly did the trick. Yes. Listen, you mustn't worry about last night. It's all right now. Thank you, darling. Tea? Mm. You phoned the police? Yes. They came round. You were asleep. They seemed to think your scream frightened him off. You did scream. Oh, yes. Well, you can forget it. They caught him. Picked him up a couple of miles along the road. What did he want? Oh, just an intruder. Apparently they've been after him for some time. Will I have to make a statement? I don't know. Or maybe not. It's an open and shut case. Look, darling, I've got to go. I'll ring you. Are you sure you'll be all right? Yes, really. Bye. Bye, darling. Drink your tea.
807 Roper for debriefing test, Doctor. Thank you. This way, Roper. I assume you're familiar with this test. It measures how much strain goes into any decision you make. Yeah. It's amazing how hard we work, even on the simplest decisions, like whether or not to have a cup of coffee. Ah, uh, this is your monitor here. On big decisions, the stress can render a man useless. Right. All set? Start the test. looking for? For me? To ask you to come and have a drink. Oh, uh, no, I'll, um, I'll, I'll take a rain check on that. Something on your mind? Oh, nothing. No, it's these kids' games. The debriefing test? Yeah. It's not like you, Paul. Well, maybe I'm getting old. Well, they're not just for amusement. Well, let's forget it, shall we? I've got her in Carol. I'm taking her out this evening. Sure. How is she? She's fine. Fine. Oh, look, um, I'll ask you later for that drink, Alec. OK? Sure. See you. Doctor, how did Roper make out in the decision stress? It was too early to say for certain, but he seemed... Well, he seemed a bit strung out. Indications of supernumerary stress factors during his last tour of duty. Any ideas? Not at this stage. Could be anything. Boredom. Mrs. His wife. <laughs> See you. Ready? Ready. Oh, hold it. I don't think I can take you out looking like that. What do you mean? Well, people might say, what's that beautiful young girl doing out with a broken-down old wreck? <laughs> well, don't worry. I can always tell them I married you for your money. They didn't ring. Who? Police. Come on, cradle snatcher. I'm hungry. Well, what do they say? Not good. The stress decision tests are positive. Signs of anxiety, traces of tension, and traces of neurosis. And the observers report similar findings. Decision making below par, reflexes bad, impetuosity, nervousness. I don't believe it. Well, it's all down here. He's an out-and-out -out risk, Alec, and we can't afford to take chances. I've known Paul Roper for years. Well, take a look at the facts, Alec. A man's a mess. I don't know why. Check him. Lovely evening, darling. Thank you. I'm not Cinderella, you know. What? Well, don't drive so fast. I don't have to be home by midnight. Sorry.
Don't be long. I thought I saw someone. What? It's nothing. We're both tired. It's nothing. Come on. I'll see you into the house. Come on. All right now? Yes, fine. Thanks, darling. I'll put the car away. All right, close the door. Oh. It's all right. But you must never contact me or my wife again. Okay. On those conditions. Ready. Begin. 42 degrees, 2 minutes, angle 8 4. 58 degrees, 7 minutes, angle 65. Go down 2. What do they want? Come on, come on. You're pushing it too hard. You've got to make him talk, Alec. Let's let's try another angle. Money? No. Blackmail? I don't see it. Or threats, violence. His wife, maybe. All right. Tell me about her. Carol? She's young, attractive. Roper's crazy about her. I can understand it if she... Understand it? Can't you accept the fact that, that he's a traitor? I know that. But it's also a matter of degree. Degree? Nothing. It's what he's told him that matters, not why. Well, you say he's crazy about his wife. We'll see just how crazy. All right, Roper. Let's take it from the beginning once more. Uh, just a moment, Doctor. All right, Roper. So it's your wife. And naturally, you don't want to see her get hurt. And you think by keeping quiet, you'll be able to protect her. Tell us what we want to know. That's the best way to give her protection. Seven minutes. Position, 33 degrees. Down two. Alternate coordinates. Two, seven, four, two. Now down three. Now. 
Numbers. Angles. What do they mean, Roper? I was given program numbers for SID. Told to feed in certain information, memorize the results. So, we've got a batch of data. But how do we apply it? I can give you the data, not the significance. You mean to tell me you didn't know what you were doing when you handed over those figures? No. And we're going to have to put everything into finding out. <laughs> Yes, Lieutenant. Well, keep working on it, Lieutenant. Is there any deal from Sid? So far, we've got a series of three-dimensional direction indicators. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's like some sort of navigation course, only in three dimensions. So it's a course for some sort of space vehicle to steer. A UFO? Could be. Well, as you say, Lieutenant, it's not much, but maybe it's a start. Let me know the moment you have anything. Right. flight path. But to where? Well, let's see what we've got. Or some sort of a flight path. And... and the fact that they chose Roper to do their dirty work. Why? One, because he had access to SID and understood its operation better than most. And two, they knew he was particularly vulnerable where his wife was concerned. But he's told us all he knows. Yes. Except who his contact was. Who was on the other end of that phone? I want an immediate yellow alert on all shadow installations. Yes, sir. Let him go, Alec. What? Let Roper go in one hour's time. Your key is still down, sir. Oh, thank you. Very neat. You've just let the whole base know we're going to release Roper in an hour. Yes. I've been thinking about Roper's contact, Alec. Whoever he is, he would have to be able to radio Moonbase. He would know Roper's movements on Earth, have access to his records. There's only one answer. You mean someone on this base? Yes, someone on this base. Let him go, Alec. We must draw them out into the open. Okay. Well, Roger, I've got that. Now, one moment, Moonbase. Lieutenant Ellis for you, sir. Straker. I've had Joan Harrington work over Roper's figures. And what does she make of them? They describe relative planetary positions. From which planets? Considering the urgency of the problem, there seemed to be no choice but to make an educated guess. All right, Lieutenant, educate me. The relative position of the Sun, Moon, and Earth would fit Roper's figures. One snag. The last set of information is a time reference, but it still doesn't make sense. Well, you've come up with enough to scare the daylights out of me, Lieutenant. Keep working on that last sequence out. Did you swing this? It seems pretty suspect to me. Look, it's Straker says you can go. Don't ask too many questions. Yes, but uh, you're not exactly the forgiving type. Don't push your luck. Just go. gone already? Why, yes, sir. But my orders were that he was to be released in one hour's time. Yes, sir, but I understand Colonel Freeman. I see. Signal a maximum security alert and get me Captain Carlin on Skydiver. Right, sir. Attention all defense systems. This is a maximum security alert. Attention all defense systems. This is a maximum security alert. Condition red. Your instructions have been received and understood. Standing by. This is Straker. We are faced with a probable UFO attack against an unknown target. 
Until we have further information, all shadow defense systems and vehicles will remain on alert. Maximum security alert operational, sir. Captain Carlin, standing by. Right. Captain Carlin? Straker. Carlin, reading you. I want you to launch Sky One for possible interception. Area? Green, zero B. Make a 20-mile radius sweep around Shadow HQ. Sounds pretty close to home, sir. What's going on? Well, that's our problem, Captain. You just concentrate on being ready. Out. Launch stations. Yes, sir. Launch stations. Clear one. One clear. Clear two. Two clear. Check boosters. UFO in area 427 blue. Get me Captain Carlin immediately. Yes, sir. Shall I control the Sky One? Carlin, this is Straker. Receiving you. Suspect driving east on Route 4 in bronze shadow car. Follow and observe. Roger. Out. Shot of control. I'm positioned over target area. Building below destroyed. You can see no sign of life. Request UFO fix and attack coordinates. Project Sky One. This is a war, Alec. People have to be at risk. I don't buy that. And I never will. It's too complicated for people like me. 
and too simple for people like you. Now, oh. how is Roper? Conscious. He'll be all right. So he gave us two wrong figures in the timing sequence. Two wrong figures? Yes. Must have been a memory lapse. Not surprising, considering the strain he was under. But we got our figures from the tape. That means the aliens have the same false information. Yes. We finally managed to sort it out about an hour ago. It would have taken them about five minutes. I realize that, but they obviously thought he did it on purpose. That mistake could have cost him his life. Wait a minute. It could cost him his wife. Carol. Now, you stay here. I'll send a couple of guards to Roper's house. Data and figures from flight plan passed to aliens by Roper have been analyzed, input information incorrect. Result negative. What do you make of it, Joan? Nothing. Straker's not going to buy that. Rerun it. It won't order the result, Lieutenant. Will if you permutate it differently. If you insist, Lieutenant. Dawson died ten minutes ago. Yes. Shotgun makes quite a mess. The doctors found this. It's some sort of electronic probe. It had been inserted into his temple. Hmm. Well, I think the picture is almost complete. Come over here, Alec. Watch this.
Here. There. Sunrise on the moon. Exactly. That's how they plan to make the attack. Flying across the lunar horizon at sunrise, keeping between moon base and the sun. Visually undetectable. Totally. But it would be picked up by moon base radar the moment it crossed the horizon. No. Not if the attack were planned to coincide with heavy sunspot activity. Like that predicted in two days' time. And with Roper's flight plan to guide the attacker. Moon base wouldn't stand a chance. Chance? Well, we have Roper's flight plan too, remember? I don't see how we can stop it. One man on his own at a predetermined position out on the moon's surface. Rocket launcher, polarized visor. It'd be suicide. Possibly. But you can't expect a man to... I don't need a volunteer, Alec. You mean Roper? And I suppose you used this to twist his arm. Oh, I didn't have to. He's doing it to try and even the score. And when are you going to tell him? Maybe you'll never need to know. Right. One hour. Now, once you're outside, maintain radio silence. One favor. I couldn't tell Carol, my wife. If you could book an Earth call, either way, you know what I mean. I'll sort things out when you get back. All set? All set. Good. Begin stage one. Oh, Roper. Good luck. Safety check one. Safety check one. Prepare for exit procedure. Good luck, Paul. Depressurized. Open out of doors. Stand by for exit.
Is there any chance of the radar trackers operating? Not with all this sunspot activity. The time is now 075.49. Sunrise is in 10 minutes. This is Moonbase time check at 07.6 precisely. Rope is on his own. Twenty three seconds since sun up, Lieutenant. Done it. Get a moon hopper out there fast. Right, we're done. 
Losing a little air. Damage. Only slight. Is everything all right? Yeah. Sure. Listen, a moon hopper is on its way. It'll be with you in minutes. Fine. Tell... Tell Straker. Tell, tell him... I hope this evens things up. Carol. 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 Paul. Roper. Roper. <laughs> 